Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually coming to a brand new hotel that they are building here in Barbados and I'm gonna be giving you a quick tour and my opinion of it. So let's get started. pretty much the conference center this is where we had our private event um, and then that building you're seeing to the left is where the gym and spa will be located in the future when they open this is the view once you walk in straight in look at the amazing view that you have here this is the front of the hotel that is a, the different buildings i believe that that's building two we are in building three that is going to be building one This is kind of the main terrace, that is the main foyer. Um, those windows that you see are actually the um, hotel desk, front desk. And yeah, look at the amazing, amazing view. This is the front desk area. They have three desks and some areas for sitting because they do take a little bit of time while they are checking you in and out. So they give you complimentary drinks and you wait here. This is the hallway. We were in the fourth floor of building three. This was a room, room six. The one with the amazing view that you will see in a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is just the hallways, normal hotel. These are the two elevators that we have that take you all the way to the ground floor. Um, for us, those are the emergency stairwell. If you look straight down, it is going to be that main hallway slash foyer that I showed you before and this is kind of what it looks like this is barbados what you're seeing uh, right there in the front you see a little area where you cannot come in it's like a security guard you only come in if you have guests or there's an event you have to be your name and room number and all of that so this is our room that we got chair and little thing that's the artwork um that you have there that is the bed is very comfortable easily for two people this is a little stand and a huge huge tv that fits your little luggage the king's coming we have the little like bar-ish area all of this is included it's complimentary well it's part of the all-inclusive these are a variety of teas and coffees for the espresso machines which they have all over uh, this is the mini fridge fully stocked uh, with juices right here some water banks um, beer and then Coke and Sprite. And again, all that is part of your all-inclusive package. You have some still water that is Italian right there on the corner. If you come over here, you have your wardrobes. Um, and here there's a safe that you use your code as in any other hotel. It's fully lit as you open it, so you don't have to lit the hallway. Have your ironing board, your iron um, hangy hangers, and two extra pillows just in case you like them. That's your front door. This mirror actually opens, but inside you only have like all the light switches and AC units and all that, so. Okay, and then if we walk into the bathroom, that is your full on deep tub. Everything is marble or a marble dish, I'm not sure. So your shower has your rain shower capacity and that's what comes out. Uh, a little st uh, step to sit or shave. And this is the little bathroom. That's the only trash can in the entire room. And this is just plain, like, closet kind of thing. And then these are all the towels and blowers that they give you. Your his and hers and mirrors. Um, and then you have the brand that they use for everything, which is, like, this shows molten brown. And you have your hand soap, hand lotion, shampoo, conditioner. So this is the main event, the view from our balcony. Look at that view huge balcony a little step there and this is what we see pretty much the exact same thing from the front foyer because we are right there in the front foyer but four floors up and we only had the suite is on top of us this is us taking a little tour that's the adult pool that has two levels that's level one right there gotta be careful because this was very wet because it was raining and it's very slippery when wet, so just Hi. careful when walking because you have the cones here. 
look at that wind the umbrellas could not be out because the wind was taking them away the current the, the like the waves look at how beautiful and huge this is but the little waves on the pool is just how much wind there was this is cool there's a little like passageway across the astral pool this is level number two which is a little bit shallower and more for families they have little like um basketball nets that you're seeing here this blue thing here so that you can play kind of like water basketball here and there you go you have all the seating areas and then they put towels on and a little like waterfall situation there and then as you keep walking what you want to see is the amazing view for, of the beach right there is my room right there front and center closer to see the beach because it is absolutely gorgeous around this but again this is all wet so be careful that these little seats are for the little bar that's to my left look at the wind how much it was blowing but this is absolutely gorgeous it's impressive how big these buildings are um, right there at the end that's actually the old castle this is another building that is under construction right now and another private pool that they're going to have in this area but this is again still under construction it should be up soon this here is going to be the castle view restaurant that was opening on monday and that is the actual sam lord's old castle ruins um this is part of the history of barbados and when they bought the area they decided that they were going to build around it and maintain the actual ruins you can see it is walled off just for security reasons and protection of the guests but it is pretty intact in the sense of the walls there is no roof but there's still some railings and stuff so it is pretty impressive to see castle from very long ago still that intact to be honest and it's nice that they kept it as part of the hotel per se as you can see in this area here that has to have been restored because there's no way those stairs would look that nice but yeah there might be a possibility that they might open it up or make it better this area around here this is the back we went to the back and this is all going to be landscaped to perfection once the the hotel is up and running but as you can see this whole section is under construction you have to go down all of these flights of stairs to actually get beach access and then walk through a not very fun terrain a lot of rocks it's kind of iffy we we had to be very careful when walking around here um, but as you can see by the people passing beside us, there are employees walking around here. The beach, as I said, was closed. No swimming. It's very windy. I don't know if you can hear me. It's very windy. It's very rainy in Barbados the last couple of days. on the ground floor you find this amazing picture of the old castle ruins that I just showed you that's how it originally looked and as you walk in you get to the Mediterranean which is the buffet style restaurant they serve breakfast lunch and dinner so we came in for dinner so I had salad pizza lamb beef potato and a roll and then for dessert a spice cookie vanilla mousse cake and then a pear tartar.
side. That's my little table over there. And that's going to be my view for breakfast. Again, it's going to be probably thunderstorming all day, which is sad because yesterday was the same. But at least today we get to see the pool and the beach as we take breakfast. This is my breakfast. Pancakes, French toast, eggs, bacon, sausage, tea, uh, some food over there as well, and some croissants. And it's rainy cats and dogs, and it's windy. When it stopped raining, I just sat poolside for a while after getting out of the pool to my boat. But again, it's very, very windy and cloudy at least. I didn't get sunburned because there was no sun. This is me just trying not to be blown away by the wind and not lose one of my AirPods because they were threatening to leave my ears because it was so, so damn windy. And then for lunch, I had chicken, potatoes, and salad with some orange juice. And for dessert, some fruit cake, some almond cake, and some cookies and cream cake. All in all, this hotel literally opened less than a month ago. It's been three weeks since it's opened, so they are under construction still. Um, one of the restaurants doesn't open until Monday. Uh, I'm here on Saturday, so literally in a couple days, and I won't be there. Um, gym is not open. Spa is not open. Um, literally building two more buildings of hotel rooms um, and we did get a really good deal because it is under construction and we kind of are the soft launch slash like guinea pigs and test runs um, and there are issues like we've got to get maintenance to get our doors fixed because now the doors work we only have one very small trash can inside the bathroom and nothing else but we got an all-inclusive and there's so much food and so many drinks which is really nice too. The location is prime location. Beach is not the best area and also the fact that we are here in a weekend that weather has not been our friend. It's been raining the entire time, super high winds, nothing like really good. So the beach has been closed. Can't use the beach, can't surf, can't do anything because there are very many currents that could potentially be bad for us. Um, you do have two pools. You have a family pool and an adult pool. Uh, the adult pool still has a shallow area if you want to bring your kids, but it's more for adults. Um, they do have tennis courts open. They have a bar. They have one restaurant and then like a, a small grill beside the, I think it's the adult pool. The rooms are super big and spacious. Bathtub is spacious for two people cramped one person is gonna be spacious for two people is kind of cramped um what else pool is nice um nothing out of the extraordinary no hot tubs food was good we went to dinner at a portuguese style buffet it was really tasty um went to check out the bar it was very calm jazz music nice people we got to have conversations with um conference center i couldn't take a video of that because it was a private event which is why we're here uh, but it was really nice it was spacious the buffet that they provided was really good food good dessert selection um and it was spacious enough to place um i think it was almost 200 of us in there for this event and they have sectioning compartments so it is a whole ass building my understanding is they could the capacity would be anywhere from 500 to a thousand people depending on how they do this setup so it was really spacious really nice the the gym slash gym again um although they're not open they seem like they're going to be very nice uh state of the art for barbados standards um the ac is not that good but again i don't know if it's because they're not fully operational because they're really still not fully launched yet but yeah they do have the old castle on ground so you can just walk to it and take pictures and videos of it, which is kind of nice um and the part of the historical portion of it but yeah overall it's just very spacious very new marble bathrooms and food is good service is amazing everybody's like how are you they brought us straight to our hotel room they offered to help us with our luxury we didn't have that much so it was we, we were able to do it ourselves they gave us a room tour they gave us a tour around the hotel they answered all of our questions um 
even for the buffet, they're like, here, let me like sit you on a table. Let me take your chair for you. Here's your water. I'm like, it's a buffet, ma'am. It's like, so the service is insane. I'll give you that as a key card. It's not focusing well, but it's the Winham Grand Barbados Sam Lord's Castle Resort, which makes sense because Sam Lord's Castle is literally the ruins of the castle who are on grounds. They really are asking us our opinions um, just to improve upon it. And they're like, you can easily call downstairs and complain if you have any issues, any issues at all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click the like button. And I know you like videos like this. Click the notification bell to get notified when I post, which is weekly on Thursdays. And click that subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time.